Hey guys, welcome back to We Are The Williams. We have a new video for y'all today. <laughs> what's up, what's up everybody? Y'all know what it is. Yes, so we're gonna be discussing a few things that um, you should know about your partner if you're, you know, getting married or if you're like seriously dating. Of course, there's like those stereotypical things that everyone knows that they should know about their person, but we have a few things that we feel like is really unique that you still need to know about yeah. your person. And um, after we share those, we're also gonna share a few things that we kind of like knew about each other, but it really came to the light more once we got married. Right. So let's so, get into it. Right, so when we are when we were thinking about this, one thing we said that you have to know, or you just should know about your partner is what friendship looks like to them. Mm -hmm. Now, you know, everybody has friends, um, and some people are not like us who where we've been together so long, like our friends just match. You know, at the beginning, it's like, uh, my friends might be a little bit more on the totem pole than you, totem pole than you or it might just be like, hold on, I want you to know my friends because I love them, I know they love me, they have my best interest at heart, so you need to get to know them. So you have to know what friendship looks like to them. Like if their friends are there always and right. those are the people you're gonna get to know and love and they're gonna be your friends or if it's like, I need my friend time, like you have to know that simple stuff about their friends. Yeah. For sure, for sure. And another thing you should definitely know is to get to know their past. Now, of course, that can mean a million things, but what I'm definitely referring to is, you know, things like um, how they were raised, you know, like, because honestly, that has such a big impact on your marriage. You know, how you were raised in your family dynamic is your norm. And everybody's norm is totally different. So, you know, like what we did in our house versus what he did in his house, it's like night and day. It was totally different. <laughs> we made it work, but it was good to know, like we were together at a younger age. So mm -hmm. one thing I knew about Jasmine was like her family went on a summer trip every summer. Yeah. And Jasmine looked forward to that every year. So that's one sort of thing that I know about her past. Like I'm like, she's gonna be looking for that in the future or she might be already, you know, kind of looking for it now. Like that summer trip, it got to happen. So that's one thing I think of that just how we, how we kind of got together and thought and I knew her background, you know, stuff like that. Exactly, exactly. It really does have an impact and like, you know, you end up like, like you said, subconsciously, like putting that stuff on your partner yeah. and then you'd be like, oh, like, like this is what I'm used to. Like, this is all I know. And right. your partner, like all they know is all they know as well. So you kind of just have to like find that new norm and create that new norm between the two of you guys. Definitely. So the next one is finding out what they do to relax, okay? <laughs> this is so simple, so easy, but guess what? It's something that you need to ask because how I relax might just change depending on the month or the week, you Let know? Let me know how, how do you relax. One, okay, relaxing for me, <laughs> honestly, is a little bit of a long time, okay? It's also- um, Something one, I had to learn. Something she had to learn. Like, it's not saying I don't wanna be like with her or it just, it's just mm -hmm. like, I don't even care if I'm in the room, you know, kind of by myself or if I'm in there chilling, I don't need to be bothered. That's my way to relax. Um, cooking is kind of like a relax or a stress reliever to me, sometimes cleaning, but it's a lot of just um, self time, I guess, something like that. That's how I relax, but how yeah. you relax. Yeah. So we supposed to know this about each other. Jasmine oh, relaxes you know. by online shopping. Oh, literally, I'm like retail therapy. Yeah. It's funny, I feel like all the ladies out there be like, I need some retail therapy, but like real talk, that really is like a relaxed thing for me because it's like, I can just look at stuff, or even if I like physically go to a store, like, I don't know, it brings me joy and it makes me happy. And so um, that is one way I relax, but also just like going to a park or like doing new things, new experiences, like help me to relax. Um, you know, I, it's something I enjoy and it's like a getaway from me, so. Yeah, something I had to get used to. I mean, like she <laughs> just likes to, sometimes we go in store, she just has to touch and feel on every single material. I'm like, <laughs> Chill, just DJ chill. always said that he's like, do you have to touch everything? I'm Jasmine like, Jasmine literally mean? touches everything. She touches a shirt and it's like, okay, it's a regular, it's a little cotton shirt just like this and she just has different, a pill on different it. Different cottons feel different. Anyway, different okay. Feel different. <laughs> okay, next, next. <laughs> All right, so the next thing y'all is, uh, this is, I'm sure one, a lot of y'all know, but it really is your love language, you know? 
I feel like sometimes it's real easy to expect your partner, you assume like your partner wants to be loved the way you want to be loved, but in all honesty, each person has their own specific love language. You know, they have things that make them happy. So like, I know like DJ's is physical touch. Like, you know, he wants to be hugged. He wants to be kissed. He, you know, all of that stuff. He just wants to be touched on. That's how he feels and receives love. I need to feel it. <laughs> I need to feel it. I, I can hear it, but I like to feel it, you know? So, yes. Yeah. So you have to make sure, you know, you deliver it for your partner because at the end of the day, you know, they can't get that from nobody else except you. So you got to make sure you're giving it to them right to make sure they feel whole and satisfied in the relationship. Mm -hmm. And we do know sometimes it's the total opposite. It could be something totally different. Just tend to your partner, okay? Yes, yes. So the next thing, this one can get real deep. We're going to keep it brief. We're going to keep it simple. <laughs> but you need to know your partner's beliefs. And you're like, duh. But I'm talking about more like political also, mm -hmm. personal, and also spiritual. And it's even more kind of beliefs and, you know, their values too that they have. Like you want to know that just because sometimes y'all can click and then it's like, hold on, you voted for who? <laughs> <laughs> but you know, I'm being goofy, but it's like, right, it's good it's like, to- whoa. Hold on, what's that? <laughs> Literally, because it's good. The main thing about a relationship, especially if you're looking for marriage or a great relationship, is one thing that I've learned and one thing that I do is kind of figuring out how my partner thinks. Mm -hmm. Jasmine has a certain way of thinking and I, I don't get it right 100% of the time. But it's easier when you know how that person thinks about things. So you can kind of be like, be their pacifier, you know, be their help when they need it, be their love, be their strength. You can be all that for them if you know how they're thinking, where their mind is at. So yeah. know their beliefs and values. For sure. And even if, you know, if you think in long term, you know, it's like if you're going to have a family one day, if you're going to, you know, do all that whole thing, it's like, you know, you really want to be aligned on stuff like that because it's like, how are you going to raise your family? Whose beliefs are you going to teach them? Like, so, you know, that's real important things that you want to be aligned on. Period. Um, last <laughs> thing um, is how they process emotion. Mm -hmm. And, you know, this is really important. And I will say, I think this is an ongoing um, thing mm -hmm. that you learn about your spouse or your partner, like, in your relationship. Um, because, like, for me and DJ, for example, you know, like, um, this is definitely something I had to learn. You know, sometimes I might irritate him. And, um, you know, he needs his alone time. He needs a moment. Mm -hmm. He um, wants to process it. And for me, you know, <laughs> for me, well, I'm speaking on DJ specifically because I'm not gonna lie, I have different processes with different types of relationships for me personally. When it comes to DJ, I really can't stay mad at him long, which is so funny. I really can't. He can annoy me to the, to the max. But like it lasts like not long at all. And then I'm like, okay, so I'm not even mad. It was stupid. I'm over it. I got a little flustered, but I'm fine now. And so I would assume, you know, he was the same way, but he wasn't. So. I'm okay with being mad for a little bit. I ain't mad all month. But I, I got the right to be mad I don't for like a little bit. With you. It's okay. We, and that don't mean we just fighting, but no. I'm not an angry person. I don't like all of that. But when I get mad, it's like, let DJ Williams be mad, okay? <laughs> if anybody, my wife can let me be mad just for a drop of a hat. But it should be the opposite. I got to get better with that. That's obvious. We've been working on it. For sure, for sure. Okay, so that's just, you know, a few things that, you know, we hope y'all can, like, take that and think on that, maybe discuss it with somebody because, you know, those are important things that you should be thinking about in your relationship. And, you know, a few funny things that <laughs> I learned about DJ. So, funny thing, DJ smacks, and I knew this. I can explain it. But I, when we got married, I was like, wow. Like, he really be smacking, like, a lot. And I be look, giving him that side eye, like, did you not, was you not talk to close to with your mouth closed? So, like, first off, I, I do not believe in, I mean, I, I can see it happening, but chewing with your mouth closed every time. See, and that's the hold thing. On. Hold, on, hold on, hold on, let me get my side, hold on. He thinks it's so unnatural, y'all. No, all I He's think like, it is. It's so hard, I'm like, no, it's not. I don't know how people grew up, I don't know what their taste buds have went through. Going back but to what my, we about Exactly, earlier. but my taste buds need oxygen for me to taste. I need to taste, I need to. What? I need to crunch, I need to smack, I need to, I need to taste what I'm eating. I don't need to be in there. Looking all cute. No, food is not to be cute. Food is to so be eaten and loved. So if y'all ever go out and to eat with us, because we have a lunch day with y'all, check, see what DJ doing. See what I do? I'm, we, I'm we, still cordial with it. Him the I ain't wild right. with it. I ain't wild with it, but I, I love I love my food. So, yeah. I do too. I just eat it quietly. 
Okay. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> so the next thing, funny thing, know what makes your partner angry. You know, no, I know what makes Jasmine angry. It ain't really a lot, but um, when stuff just, sometimes that little stuff that does not go her way or it could be if a package don't show up on the right day. No, that really does. <laughs> like, that can get yeah, her get going. going. Like, y'all want to see Jazzy? Like, what? She, that's her. But you just yeah. know what makes your partner angry because you want to be the best person for them. So, if you see them about to boil over, hold on, hold on. I'm simmering you down. Hold on. Okay, chill. Let's think about this. Hold on. It don't, it's not that serious. You know, you just want to be the best for your partner. So, it's good to know what makes them angry. For sure, for sure. And a funny one, which I think I've seen this like on social media and stuff. What is that temperature on? What is that temperature on? Like, what's the temperature on in y'all house? Can y'all tell us? Comment below. <laughs> comment. What is the normal temperature for your house? I'm not gonna lie. So growing and up, and I know you're trying to be. I know we're trying to. You know, it's summertime, and it could be. Right, we gotta you conserve need to, that bill. You're trying to conserve it, but what would you like it on? What would you like? And I don't put it on what I like, but what would you like it on? And then what do you put it on? <laughs> okay, so honestly, y'all, I'm I'm a naturally cold person. I used to steer towards cold. I can mm -hmm. I can I can cool off fast. Like even when I'm hot, I can cool off fast. When I'm cold, she stay cold. It's it's annoying. So and this one over here is a little hot body. So I'm hot. I, I run at a hundred. 100 degrees Fahrenheit, easy. Sitting still. <laughs> <laughs> easy, sit still. Like, Literally. what? Turn that air down. <laughs> like, dang. I at least need to be kind of chilly before I go to bed. I cannot, I don't even hardly believe in covers, but this one right here will have every cover in the house. For sure, cover, blanket, fur, all of that. All right. <laughs> so the next thing you need to know, and what we found out, what is considered expensive to you? What is it considered expensive to you, or what is considered what expensive is to considered your partner? Expensive, because expensive to me depends on the item, and I'm a cheap person. Okay, it's just me. Like even when I have the money, I want to find the best for the cheapest. You know, I still want a good thing, but I can find it cheaper, and I know it'll still be that good. So I don't need the most expensive, and I'll be thinking it's expensive. Yeah, and like look, for me, <laughs> look. I don't consider myself to be cheap, but I don't consider myself to just be out here like just throwing money around either. It just depends on what it is. Some things I think it's worth the money and sometimes it's not, but definitely me and DJ's uh, definition of expensive, it's uh, it definitely is way different. <laughs> it's actually doing like this a little <laughs> bit. Jasmine's bringing me up and I'm bringing her down. Right, you know, we like, try to I find that. Like, fine, I guess, you know. Yeah, you can go to Dollar Tree and get some great things, not everything. I but, can't lie, he did change my thinking on, you know, you can get, you know, cleaning products from Dollar Tree and things like that. You can't get everything now. You gotta know what to you get. get okay, you gotta know what to get, but you utilize, you you be smart with your money. Just be smart. Period. Exactly. <laughs> last thing, y'all, last thing. You know, gender roles and expectations. Mm -hmm. Now I know we're like in a, you know, we're millennials. We're millennials. You know, we, it's 2021. What? Exactly. You know, things are not just the same as our parents or even our grandparents. But at the end right. of the day, some people are super traditional. You might meet a guy or a girl who still has very traditional values. That's something you need to know because mm -hmm. at the end of the day, they're going to respect their, I mean, not respect. They're going to expect that from you in the relationship so you know if you're with a guy who is very traditional it's like i expect my woman to stay at home i expect her to clean i expect her to cook every day it's like that's something you need to know because if that's something he grew up in and that's his norm like that's what that's what he's going to expect of you nothing wrong with that but it's just something you got to be okay with Oh, um, so definitely something you should discuss and talk about. Like for us, I, I mean, we have a very like fluid. I feel like, I feel like to describe ours is very fluid. I, I don't. <clears throat> I would not describe our gender roles within our marriage as traditional. It's not traditional, um, but at times it can be for because sure. there's certain at times stuff it that can be, yeah. I expect out of myself because I'm the man of the house and stuff like that. Definitely, exactly. I was raised like that, and I still believe that. And I was raised like that as well. But so guess, I, yeah, yeah. But I cook. I clean. I clean better than. <laughs> okay, Come on. Okay. Hold on. Like I said this in another video, she keeps it clean. I believe and I can get it messy, but I can definitely clean it back up. Yeah, like, I don't like she believes in like just keeping just it clean. Keep it so you ain't I can do a heart. deep clean on you real quick and have you like, you know, spit it. Oh but yeah, God. so ours is kind of fluid, but 
Hopefully you guys learned something from this video. Mm -hmm. Hopefully you guys understood that um, you don't have to be the exact same on everything. You don't, you but, don't. Yeah, but it's great to know these things about each other because sometimes the similarities can make it so much easier. And then on the other side, sometimes the differences the differences can make it so much easier. So you just have to know these things. It's not about who's right and who's wrong or who's lower, who's higher. No, it's just about, okay, I know this about my partner. I'm about to, okay, I can help on this side. I can do this side or I can, okay, she about to trip out. Let me, <laughs> let me help her out. So we just hope you got something from this video. Yes, hope you got something, you know, comment some of the things that you wanna know. Comment if you can relate to some of the things we talked about today. And for sure, be sure to share this video. Be sure to subscribe. Share, um, like, like, comment, we say. subscribe, yes. pass to your friend. <laughs> tell a friend to tell a friend. Right, right. Um, and don't forget it. <laughs> we, we are, are the Williams. Williams. Hey, right. And we back. And Bye, y'all. Bye, y'all.